the United Nations, nearly 9% of the global population will face hunger, and an estimate 840 million will face food insecurity by the year 2030. What is food security? Providing sufficient, safe, and nutritious food to all people is one of the major global concerns historically and in the 21st century. Food security exists when all people at all times have physical, social, and economic access to sufficient, safe, and nutritious food, which meets their dietary needs and food preference for an active and healthy life. You, this apple is spoiled. Daim, you know that we throw away 4,081 tons of edible food every day, enough to fill one and a half Olympic sized swimming pools. As you can see, these are the data and charts of food waste in Malaysia. It's not been a very good time for us Malaysians. So, as you can see, vegetables and fruits are the highest percentage of all food waste. This is the chart of how much Malaysia has spent on money to buy fruits and vegetables. Each year, it increases and most of the fruits and vegetables go to waste. Each year, at least half of the fruits and vegetables produced by the world are lost and wasted due to drought, pests, problems with storage, transportation, and repair. Benefit fruit for humans. It can lower blood pressure, reduce the risk of heart disease and stroke, prevent some types of cancer, lower risk of eye and digestive problems, have a positive effect on blood. Most pests like warm temperature and habitats where water is available, but the main thing they look for, of course, is food. Fruit can be damaged and also contaminated by pests. Many fruit are lost through the damage done by pests, including termites, beetles, locusts, cockroach, flies, and rodents such as rats and mice. Pests can damage and contaminate food in various ways, such as boring into and feeding on the inside of fruit or tunneling into stems and root of food plant. For example, apple scab that causes by fungus. Flies and cockroach readily move between waste and food, transporting microorganisms with them as they do. But how do we kill the microorganisms inside the food? Okay, I know. Come with me. So, Daim, what is the best way to kill microorganisms? In my opinion, the best way to kill microorganisms in the food is food irradiation. Wait, wait. What is food irradiation? Food irradiation is the gamma rays, x rays, or high energy electrons that pass through the food uh, to destroy or inactivate the bacteria or microorganisms that can cause. Food For your information, higher levels of food irradiation can kill all contaminants such as pests and microorganisms. Lastly, food irradiation gives us the option to sterilize food. Wait, are there any disadvantages of food irradiation? There are a few disadvantages to it, such as it can change the nutritional profile of some foods. They can also be resistant strains of bacteria to the irradiation process. Food irradiation is also quite costly. Lastly, it's not very effective against viruses. But how do we preserve the food? I can tell you a bit about food preservation using chemistry. What exactly is food preservation? Food preservation includes processes that make food more resistant to microorganism growth and slow the oxidation effects. This slows down the decomposition and rancidification process. Food preservation may also include processes that inhibit visual deterioration, such as the enzymatic browning reaction in apples after they are cut during food preparation. By preserving food, food waste can, all, can be reduced, which is an important way to decrease production costs and increase the efficiency of food systems, improve food security and nutrition, and it also contributes toward environmental sustainability. There are many ways of preserving food. For example, freezing, canning, pickling, and drying. In my opinion, the best way of preserving food is canning. This is due to the fact that most 
ways of food preservation has a major con, such as freezer burn for freezing, altered taste for pickling, and an altered texture for drying. However, canning does not have any major con. Not only that, canning has the longest shelf life out of all the ways while still, while still keeping its nutritional value. It's also cheap and convenient. Its only downside is needing a pressure canner.